Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys a first impressions on a mask. Can I just quickly address that if you guys can hear some like sheep sounds in the background, that's my sheep. It's around their feeding time so they're causing a menace around the house. Oh my goodness. There's one and oh my goodness, I call her pretty girl and every time like she walks up to me like, oh hi pretty girl and like she lets me like pat her on the head and give her like a big cuddle. I love her so much. Like I don't like to play favorites but she's definitely my favorite. Anyway, moving on. So the first impression that I'm going to be doing today is on a face mask. And this is, I'm not even too sure how to say it. I'm going to completely butcher it. I can bet. It. I think it's called like Elizaveca. I'm not really too sure, but it's called the Elizaveca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And it's got a picture of a little pig on it. How cute. I got mine off iHerb, but on the box, they do have a website. It's just www.elizabeca.com. I'll be completely honest. I spent like the past like few minutes trying to read the back of this box. And it's just really, really hard to read. Like it's really small and it's just really, really hard to read. So I'm just going to read how to use the product. And I'll just put in a screenshot over here so you guys can read it yourself. Pause it, screenshot it. It tells you like warnings and like stuff like that. But I'm just going to read you guys how to use it. It says take proper amount of carbonated bubble clay mask to your whole face except around the eyes. After three to five minutes when the bubbles blown up absolutely, do foam massage with a little teepeed water and wash away. And it does have a like authentication thing like there, like a sticker, and you can like verify it on the website. I don't know if you guys know, but like my family, whenever we go back to like China or Vietnam, my auntie always gets the, or like always gives these um, lanolin creams and they literally come in these jars. But anyway, like jars that look like this. But anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a jar. It does have a security seal, so I'm just gonna peel that off. I'm gonna unscrew this. Oh, there's already like so much stuff on the inside. I wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. Oh yeah, it has its own little like spatula. I thought that I would have to use my own, but that's good. And then it has like a clear lid as well. So I'm just going to lift this off because I don't want to chip my, oh shit. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't want to chip my nails. Anyway, oh, it's fragranced, I think. It definitely doesn't just smell like clay, put it that way. I just want to show you guys like the texture. It's like super like thick. And like kind of a bit like like really hard like custody jelly situation like that's it on my hand and it's not going anywhere like literally not going anywhere so this is like literally the texture it's like goo i'm gonna start painting this on my face i don't even know if i need to do like thick layers or thin layers i'm going to guess like thick not super thick like just enough to like cover your face this is so hard to spread but once it applies to the skin it's so cooling i don't even know like how much to apply oh it's already starting to bubble i touched it and i heard like the bubble sounds so that big amount that i had on my hand i've literally used up and i haven't even done my chin yet oh my god it's like tickling my nose oh my god i can't deal with tickling my nose oh well it does bubble for those who were skeptical like i don't know if you guys can see but it's really fuzzy and it's really tickling my face. Oh my God, I touched some. I haven't actually been gone for that long. I've literally probably been gone for like a minute, but I thought I'd update you. The bubbles are so big now. Oh my God, like they're so elevated and like I can hear them like popping and it literally feels like, it, I feel like Santa. I haven't put it like all over my face. Like I didn't want to put it too close to my eye area. Oh my goodness, it's getting like so like tickly. I think if I use this again, I'm not going to put it on my nose because it's so tickly. Like, I need to, like, do this to, like, <laughs> so it's not so tickly. Oh, my God. I don't, my face doesn't feel, like, restricted at all. Like, I can still definitely, like, talk and move. And, like, I can move my face. I can move my eyebrows. Like, I don't feel like my face is, like, restricted like a typical mud mask that dries down. Also, I wiped off the bit that was on my hand and my hand, like, right here feels so, like, nice and smooth. I guess I'll talk about it like my skin in general right now so over my nose is where i have like a lot of like congestion so a lot of like blackheads and just like ickiness so hopefully it extracts some of that and then like i do have a little bit of pore action here like all i want to do right now is like touch it and like get it off my face oh my god look how like much my forehead has like been elevated can you guys see that oh my god I'm going to use my Fix Plus because I don't have any water close by, but it literally says when bubbles have blown up, absolutely do foam massage with a little tepid water. I don't know what tepid water means, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. 
just gonna squirt it in my hand. So I'm just going to, oh my god. Oh my god, this feels so weird. Oh my god, I don't like this. Oh. Oh. It feels like really like weird when I'm rubbing it in. Oh. Oh. The bubbles are like wipe away. Oh, it's like transforming into like another color here. Oh, and it's re foaming. Ugh. It's literally like the more you rub it in, like it still foams up again. Oh. Like, I know this isn't, like, the instruction. Well, it says to massage it in again. But, like, I thought I'd show you guys. Like, it's going to rebubble again. Oh, I did it so patchy on this side. Whatever. It's just not bubbling, like, as big. But it's still bubbling. That's really, really cool. To be honest, I would probably do this step earlier and leave it like this on my skin because it's less bubbly. I don't know. I've made up my mind on that yet. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go wash this off my face. And I will come back and give you my final thoughts. <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back. I've washed off the face mask. Oh my goodness, my skin feels so nice and soft and plump. And also my nose doesn't feel like anywhere near as like congested and bumpy and gross. I don't think it's eliminated like every single like pore that I had, but I do feel like it has like reduced a lot of the gunk in my skin, which is really nice. Like I don't expect anything like after the first use to like take away like all my blackheads or anything like that. So yeah, I feel like overall it did a really, really good job in terms of actually taking the mask off. It was really quite easy. I just kind of like wet the areas with my hands. Like I just kind of like put a little bit of water and just like pat it over where it was. And then it was just as easy as wetting my washcloth a little bit and just like wiping the product away. Then I went in with a clean washcloth and just kind of made sure that everything was off my skin. And my skin just feels so nice and like supple and like moisturized. It's really, really nice, I think. Um, my forehead just feels so nice and smooth. I normally have like an, like a few bumps on there as well and that feels so smooth. I feel like it really did like smooth out my skin. Like it hasn't like made me have like less pores, but I feel like it's made my pores look not as there, if that makes any sense at all. Like they don't look like as big. So I'm overall like so impressed with this i feel like and i don't feel like this was that expensive either like i feel like it was either around or under 20 dollars. so i feel like that's a pretty good buy for like a decent size face mask i didn't even tell you guys how much product you get in the container i'm so sorry 100 mil it says it just there overall i feel like it's really really nice and just it's really really nice on the skin i feel like so I'll definitely be using this again. It's probably not like an every week thing for me, but I'd probably like incorporate into like my kind of like mask regime. So yeah, overall, really, really happy with it. If you want to go check it out, then I'll leave some links down below to where you can get it. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do try and upload videos every single week. I'm trying to get in the habit of uploading every week or even a few times a week. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.